I think I think we're centered. I hope so. It's gonna bother me. <laughs> okay. All right. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Welcome to some candid conversations. A glass of wine. Clink. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why did you say clink? <laughs> you let the glasses talk. You don't need to talk on the glasses. I was thinking it in my head and then, and then it just it came, came right out of my mouth. As soon as we clinked. Let's try that again. We need to get like the perfect clink. I don't even think I'm holding it right. Is this, is this the fancy way to do it? Okay, I think we're holding it exactly the same way. Look at our hands. Our hands look exactly the same. There we go. There we go. I have a like little side story about our hands, like because we just said our hands look the same, the exact same in the wine glass. Me and Alana used to always just like look at each other and think that the other had weird little hands. We have really small hands. It's like we have really the... tiny hands. So yeah. I always look at her hands and be like, oh my god, she's got such small, strange little hands without like actually realizing that I had the same. Yeah. And she's always thinking about me. Mm -hmm. And we had this conversation one day where we both realized that we thought that about each other's hands when we would put them side by side. And we're like, oh, they're exactly the same. I know that sounds ridiculous to any non-twin. The thing about when you're a twin <laughs> is that you never actually think you look the same. Mm -hmm. It's bizarre. So we're here to talk about what we've been up to lately. We've been really busy making lots of videos. First, let's like back up. Mm -hmm. Let's just like rewind here a little bit. So Alana and I decided <laughs> during COVID in 2020, we were like, okay, we want to try and release a single every month of 2021 with a video. I don't think we realized how much work that was going to be <laughs> when we first said it, but I'm really glad that we've done it. And it's been so wonderful to kind of carry us through the lull. Of the this low pandemic. Um, Something to focus on is amazing, especially since we can't play concerts right now. We've been devoting a lot of our time to just these videos, styling ourselves, which is something we never did before. And we've also been learning how to dance and learning how to skate. We've been really pushing ourselves and kind of having this mentality that we can do anything we set our minds to. And so far, we've been able to do everything that we've set our minds to. Like for the taste for it, um, visualizer music video we did our own makeup and i'm not gonna lie guys for the longest time i was afraid of makeup in high school brianne was a makeup girl she did the smoky eye every single day i, I feel like a lot of the times i would just go with no makeup i was mm -hmm. kind of scared of it because it intimidated me i didn't know what to do mm -hmm. and brianne used to do my makeup but, i mean you already knew how but i had to learn and it was successful it was fun it was successful I don't know if you can tell you Riverdale. Because the funny thing about Brianne and I is that we, well, I mean, obviously because of COVID, we've been spending even more time with each other than usual. And somehow we still find things to talk about because we genuinely do sit down once a week with a glass of wine and talk for hours. Mm -hmm. Like we just met. I know. We yeah. think we've run out of things. We don't. We don't have run out of things <laughs> to talk about. It's quite marvelous. Fun. Yeah, we've been really trying to push forward through this time and release lots of thoughts, which is what we really felt inspired to write during the sad times, to try and lift ourselves up. And I feel like it's really worked. Uh, and filming the Dirty Dancing video, I have to say, that was like one of the most fun, fun, well, that was the, the most fun I've had, I think, during this whole crazy pandemic. It was, so much fun. Just being able to dance and wear pink. We didn't even wear pink. pink. We didn't even wear pink in that video. No, we didn't. Hello? Yes, we did. We yeah, pink. you wore pink. Oh. You know what's funny? Is okay. I wasn't even, I, I had pink in my outfit. <laughs> Bria was literally wearing a full pink I bathing suit. <laughs> well, my brain like sees that as red. It was really dark pink. What? Are you colorblind? I don't know. I think she's colorblind. <laughs> All I know is this is red. <laughs> we think that we have figured out the name for our EP that's coming out soon. I don't know the, the exact date. Do, you, do we have the exact date for when it's coming out yet? We do not. We do not. We're going to tell you the name. We are going to call it. I'm drum rolling this one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let's see. You like use your like. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Which one telepathy's off today? Oh. Sorry, that looks so stupid. <laughs> okay, 
never mind. No drum roll. Just do it in your imagination. Thanks. We are going to call it Candid Constellations. We figured that out today because it's kind of a spacey element in a lot of the songs. Yeah. A spacey, disco y element. It sounds very pretty, and I think a lot of these songs are kind of really embracing our femininity. And it's very poppy, girly. It kind of sparkles in my brain. It's, it's been a real growing point for us. I think this whole pandemic thing, with all the negativity surrounding it, there's also a bit of positivity, which is that I think it's caused us to grow a lot faster than we may have. Our idea of a fun night these days is going to Whole Foods, getting some stuff for our charcuterie boards. Charcuterie. Why did I say it so weird? It's not, you sound like somebody who's never had a charcuterie board in their <laughs> life. You introduced me to charcuterie boards. It's like we just like progressed into our mid-30s all of a sudden. It's like, nothing makes sense. Just went all some water around there. Twiddle. Twiddle bee. No. no. We, already, no. we already had this argument, I remember. We already had this argument. Oh, who says that? It's a best friend song by uh, Doja Cat. She's like, between the gate. It's, it's a line. No, it's not. Song. It is. That's my best friend. She's over there. <laughs> well, when she's twerking, she throw it down the couch. We don't need to hear the whole song, Ryan. <laughs> the people can look it up. <gasps> oh, yeah. <laughs> what is it? Yeah, I ain't dumb, but mother effer, she my tweedle me. This is my tweedle bum. Nobody likes tweedle bum. <laughs> That's why you're tweedled though, no, I'm kidding. So we've been skiing a lot lately. Mm. And um, we go up like, tw we try and go up twice and we ski like right next to a mountain. And if we can go up a lot up, we ski for a few hours and come back down. It's pretty great. We're sitting in a chair and I see this riddle. And it's like, what has one eye that can't see? I think that was the riddle. Yeah, that was. And I was like, I've got it. According to an Alexa Answers contributor, Thanksgiving is an American holiday which originated as a harvest festival. It occurs on the fourth Thursday of November. Listening to us! That's weird. Okay, sorry. To give this more context, like there's a little whiteboard at the bottom of the of the lift, like the chair. I think the, the real flaw is that I, I thought at the top there'd be the answer to the riddle, so you'd contemplate the riddle on your way up the chairlift. But no, we got to the top and there's no answer to this riddle. I was like, I know the answer to this. I was so confident. I was like, Alana, what do you think the answer to that riddle is? And I said, a hurricane. Like, obviously, because it has an eye that it can't see. A storm. But actually, I don't even know if that's the right answer. Well, I, like, then suddenly I'm like, oh my god, she's right. But, like, my first thought was an olive for some reason because I just, like, so confidently in my brain thought that the middle of an olive is called an eye. I think it's called M M M Can we look it up right now? Yeah. Can we please? Let's look it up now. Just look it up. What? It's we were both there. wrong. Oh my god. The needle has an opening at one end, which is the eye of it. Despite that eye, the needle cannot see. The answer is a needle. Is it I always think, a needle? I think a storm could work too, though. I think that that's a flaw. But I don't know, guys. Tell me, do they call the middle of the olive an eye? Okay, hold on. Let me look that up. I'm gonna look that up too. We really, we really need to see. Yes, it is dangerous and very unwise to put a food substance like olive oil into your eyes. It's all, that's uh, it's no eye of an olive. <laughs> oh no. no. That's enough for today, I think. Those are some candid conversations with us, plus some random stuff, and music and shit and life and pandemics. And we're gonna say goodnight now. Good night. Should we try another? One more clink? Yeah. Can we? What did we say we do this time? Do one. <laughs> let, let the glasses do the talking. Am I right, ladies? Let the glasses <laughs> ladies. do the talking. Here we go. There you go. Good night. Good night, everybody. See you next time. <laughs>